All right, we're here with the head coach of Midland High, Tad Fortune. Coach, you guys seem like lately the run game has just gone to a different level. Seven touchdowns tonight for McCoy and the offensive line clearing the way last week, like almost 500 yards. I guess what's been maybe the difference in getting to that even next level almost? Well, at any time you're, you're successful um, in, on any phase of the game, you can't – I mean, it starts with good players. I mean, that's that's always the starting point. So um, before you uh, you try to get make it too complicated – you got to have good players, and, and um, we've had we have good we have good football players, and they work really hard, and they work really hard all year round in the weight room, um, and, and they care about each other, and so they have a lot of other ingredients I think that um, can make these things work, um, but but it just it really just starts with you've got to start with a with a great group of players, uh, they happen to be great young men. Um, so that means they work hard every day. Uh, they push themselves. They, they hold themselves accountable. Um, I mean, they're, they're far from perfect, uh, but they are, are striving to be really good every day. And so, um, and that's the goal. And so, you, hopefully, you come out here when the lights come on, um, and, and you get to, to show um, what your program's about, you know, all year round. And so, I've been really proud of Elijah. Um, and the growth he's made as a young man over these last four years in our program. Um, this is when you see things like tonight. Those are results of just countless hours that no one sees. Um, he practices as hard as anybody I've been around. Um, he works hard in the weight room, um, and so he does. He does things the right way. And then up front, um, and just credit to Coach Martinez and Coach Hodge and the work they do daily with our offensive line. Um, I mean, it's exhaustive, and. Uh, and they're they're ready to play every Friday night, and so you got good old linemen, you got uh, great coaches, great young men. Um, it has a chance to pop off like it does, and so um, I think it's just important to continue to try to get better. There's thousands of things we need to fix tonight. I thought we did not. We had just some moments where we weren't being who we could be, and so um, we'll, we'll hopefully get better um, as we continue. Yeah, definitely. Because I guess it seems like the, all the work you guys put in behind the scenes obviously makes it look easy on nights like this at times. And, and it seemed like during the interview, like no one wanted to take credit. You know, everyone just it's all about the team and everybody working together. It seemed like, and the, does that kind of speak to y'all's program and stuff? Well, hopefully we're creating that kind of program. And, and um, you know, and listen, like it's um, you know you're you're going to be judged by by your wins and losses. That says how this business works. Um, but, but while we're doing that, you know, we, we do strive to try to create a culture that's conducive um, to creating great young men. And, and uh, man, that's not always fun. Uh, that is uh, really uh, sometimes boring and uh, just, it, it's, you know, it's just hard work. It's, it's just, um, it's hard work. And so um, we've got to continue to try to get better at that, get better at practicing hard, get better at how we work in the weight room. Um, and, you know, if, if the guys will continue to play selflessly, continue to play with great unity, um, offensively, if, if, if they continue to understand that there's a play to make for all 11 guys on the field, with or without the ball, um, the notion that you have to have the ball to make the play is, is um, you know, doesn't fly around uh, around Memorial Stadium. And so um, we have to continue to play hard every snap. Um, and once again, this whole deal starts over Monday morning. Um, lift and, and refresh tomorrow, but it, the whole process starts again Monday morning, and it will be um, – you know, another hard Monday. I mean, you know, the, it's like every kind of rinse and repeat, but I'm proud of our kids and proud of our staff. Um, you know, it was a hard fought win tonight. Right, definitely. I guess lastly, just kind of take some of the takeaways. I don't want to say you guys were sloppy down the stretch necessarily defensively, but you gave some points there. Do you, or so I guess some, obviously you get a win, you're excited, but I guess some, what are some of the things that you want to, some of the takeaways from, from a good night, but maybe some more work to be done. Well, and stuff. you know, always it's, these games are long and, and I think, um, it's just that's how it's going to be in district, guys. Credit to Central and Coach Smith and the way those guys fought. I mean, just un, you know, just relentless, and, and they're veteran coaches, and so their plan was really outstanding. I'm um, on both sides of the ball. Special teams are, are great. I mean, so it's just um, it, it was just you knew like this game was never going to be over. Um, I don't think anyone was ever very comfortable with with any of the situations, um, just because of you know well coached and good players, and they're going to keep fighting. And so. Um, you know, down that fourth quarter kind of got going back and forth as these games kind of get. And so I think as a program, you got to understand that, you know, things are just tightened up a little bit. And, you know, we want to see the fact that the penalties cleaned up and we've got to do a better job of that. Um, and that starts with me. Um, and so we'll, we'll work hard on addressing those things and, and trying to get them cleaned up. And just you have to understand the situations that, you know, that this – that's how when these games get late and, and back and forth and, and they, they got to keep everything under control that, um, man, you, you're not going to get the benefit of the doubt. And so don't don't make it close. But um, like I said, I, it went back and forth. Um, and, and, and really our defense was outstanding. 
Um, we have some drives we want to take back there at the very end. Um, but I was so proud of our defense, how they came out. Their first half was outstanding. Really, the first three quarters um, was everything we wanted to be. And so. Um, credit to Central's offense. I mean, I, I, you're going to try to keep that thing bottled up, and eventually they, they found some things, and um, they got, got good guys to operate it. Right. And I guess just last one more question I wanted to throw in there, but you guys won two district games in a row, and now you got a couple more left. I, mean, I guess how much confidence do you guys have right now, and then kind of how do you use that to continue that momentum moving forward as you get ready to close out the season here? You know, you know, we go back two weeks when we lost by one at Friendship. That was a tough night for us as a program, but some things got exposed. Um, and I think hopefully that we've used that to get better. Um, and, and that, you know, like I said, I, no one would, would choose those nights. You, like, you just wouldn't. You're lying if you say you would. Um, but if you can try to take some things from them, hopefully that will benefit you down the road. Um, and so, you know, and, and really every week you just learn stuff about your team, good and bad, things you got to fix because everybody can find holes. And, and um, I thought Central, I mean, we're going to learn a lot from this tape. Um, and so we just have to do a good job of, of, of doing that. Um, but the kids deserve to be confident because they've worked hard for this. Um, they've invested uh, correctly in to try to have a good football team. And um, I want, I'm, I'm happy that they're coming out on Friday night and, and showing all the work they've put in. Definitely. They gave me a good big OYB there to close the interview. So. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. I'll, I'll do it too. OYB. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. Appreciate yeah, the thanks, time. Thanks. And good luck next week, Coach. Appreciate, Appreciate you.